Hi from an audio is unveiled two new DAC headphone amplifiers in the form of their EF499 and EF500. These are two relatively affordable DAC solutions that will suit different needs because they are slightly different from each other but they do offer a lot for the money they are charging you. Um, the phone, the, the, the EF499 is priced at $300 while the EF500 is four hundred and sixty dollars um they are very small they are very compatible and they're very powerful individually like they are they're just really 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 good i like what i'm seeing with this set of digital analog converters um the 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 ef499 um has a different dac system you know compared to the ef500 uh, they feature quite similar design, so you don't have much of a difference in terms of their anesthetics. They are quite similar. Uh, now, one thing here is that you get at least fully balanced inputs and output connections. Uh, you also have your coaxial uh, connections on this uh, these two models. There is even independent power supply um and they they are built really well now the ef500 the difference now between the two is that the ef500 features high performance himalaya le ladder dac uh it's going to consist of an array of highly accurate resistors that can uh, that, that that basically use uh uh, the the latter method of conversion the, now the company claims that this approach converts the digital signal with the goal of providing the lowest possible level of distortion along with improved levels of energy consumption so look uh, if we go ch uh, to high finance official store because the ef499 is there currently uh, you will see that this one has its own DAC. This this model is quite different from the EF500. Um, the EF uh, the, 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 the EF499 comes with the Philips R2R DAC inside as opposed to the Heiferman Himalaya LE R2R DAC that you get in the EF500. Uh, the other thing again is that the channel separation uh, is quite different from both. You get 95 uh, uh, 95 decibels uh, for the EF499. Why you get 131 decibel uh, rating on the EF500? You also even have um, signal to noise ratio of 99 decibels on the EF499 and 117 decibel on the EF500. Uh, now, in terms of power output. Uh, the EF500 is slightly more powerful than the EF499. The EF499 can deliver 4.35 watts per channel into 32 ohms in balanced mode, while the EF500 can deliver 4.5 watts per channel uh, into 32 ohms. So both are very, very powerful in terms of putting out a lot of uh, output. Now, if you are doing unbalanced, uh, the EF499 can deliver 1.28 watts per channel into 32 ohms, while the EF500 can deliver 1.32 watts per channel. Uh, they also have 6.35 millimeter single-ended uh, output, both of them, they do come with that. In fact, both of them do come with XLR pin balance uh, outputs as well. Uh, you even get RCA, RCA single-ended uh, outputs here. Then, in terms of inputs, you you get in terms of inputs, you get coaxial connection. Um, you get coaxial connection. You get uh, USB connection on on both uh, on both models. Uh, you even have volume control and they don't weigh much they're just 3.3 kg for both of them you know so they they, they don't even weigh much by much uh that and the only thing difference here is, is the dark solutions that you get inside there and the slight uh slightly more powerful output that the ef500 can give you other than that they are quite similar to each other in every other respect and i'm going to drop details for you guys down below if you want to check out the new hyperman amplifiers the, the digital analog converter amplifiers do subscribe to the channel do like our content i'll see you guys very much next